Assalamu alaikum and welcome to another video. Today we are going to talk about real PLC panel. How it looks like, what are the component inside the PLC panel. For that we have to travel to some plant and see control panel. Now I'm gonna show you how the PLC panel in a real feed looks like. This is one of the S7-1200 PLC panel you can see here. If you come closer you will see that. This is the first point where we have to connect our signal. Now we are going to feed level where you will understand how the signal is coming from the feed level to a PLC. Starting with the instrumentation in the field and we are at the moment in the field site where we have our transmitters you can see here, you can see here this one and this one. These are the sensing elements you can say that these are there to measure the flow in these pipelines. So from there on you can see these wires these are going to our PLC and I will show you where exactly it is terminating in a PLC end. Now we have discussed the field level it's the time to get back to PLC panel and explain further. This is the first connection point where we are connecting our signals that are coming from the field end. I have showed you the field end. This is one of the transmitter you have seen there. So like in the field we have transmitter, pressure switches and different other switches are there. So we are getting the signals from the field on this particular a connection point or you can say it's an interface between your PLC IO cards and the field element. The so signals you can see here are coming first on these TBs from the output of these TBs you can see the signals are going to the IO cards you can see here these are the IO cards SMN this is the SMN 1200 PLC CPU you can have a look at that and it's as we discussed in last class SMN 1200 PLC have its own inputs digital inputs and outputs that are within their CPU and we have some extension module you can see here as we discussed last time SM1223 the signals from TBs are coming there and connecting over there. So now from the network point of view you can see this is a network switch, a Profinet switch you can say that where we have a cables coming from different devices like HMI we have a connection to HMI from one of the cable and we have a connection to these servo drives from another cable and this is how it is connecting actually. You can see here this safety relay is connected to the door interlocks and emergency stop. Apart from it, if you can see here, in this panel we have a power supply. This power supply you are already aware, this is used to power up all the devices in the rack. Apart from it, you can see these are circuit breakers. If the power is coming from 220 volt, it have to pass through that and then it is going to power supply or any other device that is operating on 220 volt. So this is how it looks like when you talk about the S7-1200 PLC rack. We have checked our PLC panel now is the time to explain the trying how it looks like is it going to be very simple for you I am going to show you bit and pieces about that in our drawing so it will be very very interesting for you so let's have a look at that let's see these are our inputs that are coming in to our PLC you can see here these are all inputs these inputs are coming from field and this is 24 volt positive you can see here and from here on you have seen already I have explained you L, M, positive and negative and these are coming from the power supply. Output side if you see this is actually output of a PLC it is going to our final control elements actuators and different it is industrial equipments. I have shown you one switch where you have seen few profinet cables that were connected in there one was coming from HMI you can see here also the same thing and one was coming from the servo motor so this switch is for that purpose just an overview of uh, how drawing of s7 1200 plc look like it would be very good if you see some real-time example in industries that will make your concept more clear as you are seeing our videos we are putting a lot of effort to make these kind of videos and we have to travel to some plant to make these kind of videos we need a small favor from your end subscribe this channel share this amazing content with those people who are actually looking for this information so that it can help someone thanks for watching this video if you like this video hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel consider subscribing thanks for watching and see you soon take care and allah